Hi there, my name is Kevin Carlson. I'm a mortgage broker here in Canada. Thanks so much for uh, checking out this video. Today I'm going to be talking about the difference between a three month interest penalty and an IRD or an interest rate differential penalty and why an IRD could cost you thousands. The clients of mine that are going to be working with me uh, or, a, or if you intend to work with me, you don't have to watch the rest of this video because I give this information to my clients uh, ongoing all the time. Now, one of the very first things that I ask my clients when they are, whether they are uh, renewing a mortgage uh, or doing a refinance or buying a home, it doesn't matter. One of those first questions is, how long are you gonna be living in this house? That is extremely important, especially right now. Fixed interest rates are some of the highest we've seen in quite a while. So it is really, really important that you match your home ownership goals with the term of the mortgage. So if you're gonna be living in your house for at least five years, you know for sure you will be, then certainly a five-year fixed rate is not a bad way to go. However, if you think that you're going to be uh, either upsizing or downsizing or selling in the near future in the two or three year time, then really good idea to match the term of the mortgage with how long you think you'd be in this house. The reason that that's important is that being that rates are so high right now, if rates do decrease, that could trigger what's called an IRD or an interest rate differential penalty. So let's have a look at the numbers and show you what the difference is between a three month interest and the IRD. Here we've got that uh, say five and a half percent is kind of where rates are sitting at right now, maybe a bit higher for a full five years. Let's say you took a five year fixed rate. Uh, I just run the numbers based on $300,000 mortgage uh, for a full five years. But for whatever reason, you need to discharge this mortgage in year three. So at the end of year three, you are discharging this mortgage right here. And so you're paying out that mortgage early. Uh, there are some options to avoid any penalties. The first would be to port the mortgage or move it to the next property. Uh, and the other one is uh, for the client who's buying your property to assume that mortgage from you. Um, now, if interest rates at that time for the, you know, kind of the comparable interest rate for your mortgage, if interest rates are the same or higher, then you're just gonna be paying uh, that uh, three months worth of interest because the bank isn't really gonna be losing any money. They might even be making money if interest rates are even higher. So that doesn't trigger the IRD when it comes to uh, the same or higher, okay? Now, uh, what uh, it looks like here for the three month interest penalty and that $300,000 mortgage, at the end of year three, it's about $3,800. Still uh, enough of a penalty, but not compared to the IRD penalties. Now, what does trigger the IRD penalty is if interest rates, the prevailing comparable interest rate at the time is lower uh, at the end of year three than what you have instead of the 5.5, well, now you're triggering the IRD penalty, okay? So because the bank thought they were gonna be getting 5.5 from you all the way through to the end of year five, but uh, if you pay out the mortgage and then interest rates are lower, they have to lend that money back out to somebody else for a much lower interest rate. So they're losing money. They don't really wanna do that. So what happens here is if uh, we had an interest rate instead of 5.5 rates at that time, comparable interest rates were 4.5, so a full percentage point uh, decrease. Instead of the $3,800, a three months worth of interest, the IRD penalty is $5,600. Uh, that's only for a 1% decrease. Now, if interest rates are even lower, so a, you know, a rate at that time of 4%, the IRD penalty is almost $8,500. It's quite a bit higher. So this is why these IRD penalties can really cost Canadians uh, if they have to unexpectedly sell their house in the middle of the term. So as you can see, it's really important to make sure that you match your home ownership goals with the term of the mortgage and being really thoughtful with that. If you're looking to renew a mortgage or you're looking to purchase a home in the next little while, please reach out to me. I would be more than happy to assist you. Thanks so much for watching.